Hello, welcome to this section of Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're talking about capacitors. We're continuing our discussion from the last section and we're going to derive uh, very briefly a lot of uh, equations that we'll be using in a lot of analysis here to come. And uh, it's going to be a little bit faster than it was for inductors because all of these equations look very similar. Uh, you'll see as we go along. So the first thing we want to do is we want to develop a relation for the voltage across a capacitor in terms of its current. Notice that we've also, we've already talked about the current I is equal to C dV dt. Now we want to turn that around and solve for voltage. And we did this kind of thing with inductors as well. So here is a capacitor. You know, we'll just kind of draw it for reference. And uh, the voltage across that capacitor, actually let's just say here's the current going through it like that then that means the passive sign convention, that would be the voltage. Now we have already established in the last section that the current flowing through this capacitor is a capacitance C times dV dt. So this is the current flowing through the capacitor if we know how the voltage is behaving. What we want to do is turn it around and solve for uh, the voltage. And so what we're going to do is that right now. So what we'll do is we'll say, we'll move this dt over so I times dT is equal to C times dV, all right? And then we just move it as, as if it were a fraction. And then we divide by the capacitance. So I times C dT is equal to dV. Now let's flip around the equal sign because I'm solving for V, so I want it on the left-hand side. Let me switch colors. So basically dV is equal to I over C times D. T. Now what do you think we do next? I'm trying to find a, a function for the voltage. It's wrapped up in a, di a di differential, so I want to integrate both sides. I can do whatever I want to both sides as long as I'm consistent and do it to both sides across the board. So when I integrate dV, you get and recover your V as a function of T, which is what I'm trying to find. And then over here, the 1 over C is a constant. So the 1 over C it just comes out of the integral, and then I have, I'm integrating I uh, dt. So this will be the integral of 0 up to times t of i of t dt. Now I'm doing this integral, but then you always have a constant of integration when it's over, and so that constant of integration is going to be the voltage at time 0. So this is the voltage in terms of uh, current. So in other words, for a capacitor, if I already know the voltage behavior, I can calculate the current by that derivative. When I flip it all around and solve for the voltage, then if I, if I know the current and I know the initial value of the voltage, I can just integrate